Sauvignon Blanc tastes completely different when it's grown in France compared to when it's grown in New Zealand or Chile or Romania. We have a Romanian one here. So what makes it taste different? And what would you be looking out for if you were thinking, okay, I fancy a glass of wine tonight. Why would I go for a French one over a Sauv or a New Zealand one and vice versa? So the main difference is the amount of heat or sunshine hours that the wine is going to get. So if, for example, you think about Sancerre, which is France's most famous Sauvignon Blanc, that's located um, in the north uh, east of France. So like the Donegal of France, that kind of north northeastern tip. And if you think, okay, what type of fruits grow there? How hot is it? How ripe can things get? What grows in that part of the world is orchard fruit, like apples and pears. So the wine from Sancerre and those white wines from Northern France where Sauvignon Blanc is most famous from, tends to have those apple, pears, lemony, cool climate fruit. If you think about New Zealand or Chile, for example, or Australia, um, it's really, really hot there. What fruits are you going to get? Like what can ripen? How ripe can things get? And you're definitely going into that much more tropical fruit uh, flavour spectrum. So you're thinking um, maybe mangoes, um, pineapples, grapefruits, those more ripe citrus flavours. And when you think about those New Zealand wines, they definitely, or the, the Chilean, they definitely have those more tropical fruit nuances. They're more intense, it's more hot there. So the flavours become more intense from the heat. So if you're thinking, what am I gonna drink tonight? I love Sauvignon Blanc. Why would I have one over the other? Well, what are you gonna eat? If you're sitting, it's Friday night, and you're literally having a packet of crisps and a bar of chocolate, and you're watching your favorite program on the TV, you don't necessarily need to have um, a wine that needs food. So in fact, those New Zealand really fruity tropical wines work really well in that scenario. If you're having food, and I would always say that you don't put sugar on your steak, you don't put sugar on your fish, you don't put sugar on your salad, you put salt. So if you have those drier fruit profiles, those more cool climate ones, they tend to pair better with um, food than those more tropical fruit aromas. So a sancerre will pair really well with a really nice meal or those, those, um, the, the French flavours will pair much better with a lot of uh, the food that we eat in Ireland. So why would you have one over the other? We have two beautiful ones here. We have Tin Pot Hut and Grey Wacky. These are both legends. Um, Grey Wacky is produced by Kevin Judd, who uh, is probably the most famous New Zealand winemaker um, in the whole world because he put Cloudy Bay on the map and he also basically put New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc on the map. And then um, Fiona Turner, who is uh, the owner of Tin Pot Hut, they're going nearly 20 years. And um, they're a really lovely small family run uh, producer, but they've won these huge awards. It's one of the highest ever scoring New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs. And um, it just does really well. And what I find is that it's got all the best bits of New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc without the flavours, I think those really green flavours that you often associate with it. So two beautiful wines, Tin Pot Hut is new for us. And then we have three um, European cool climate wines. So we have a Sancerre and what I had said earlier, those kind of apple, pears, lemon flavours. And then we have um, Sauvignon Blanc from, from Bordeaux. And most people think about a Bordeaux and they think, go straight away think about red wines. But in actual fact, um, Bordeaux is really famous for Sauvignon Blanc. It's generally blended with another grape called Semillon. And what that does is makes it a bit richer, a bit rounder. So it can definitely hold much bigger, fattier, richer dishes like pork, for example. And um, this is beautiful. Uh, I would say it's more a more mature style of Sauvignon Blanc. It's beautiful. And then we have one of our um, flagship wines. People absolutely love it. And it's definitely in the everyday shopping section um, from Romania. Romania is on the same line of latitude as Bordeaux. So um, it's the same climate that you're going to get from those cooler climates. This wine is beautiful. They've been making wine in Romania as long as they've been making wine in France. And for me, this new vintage, it's a little bit more opulent, kind of nuances of apricots and peaches, beautiful glass of wine. Why would you have one over the other? Um, if I was having fish, chicken, and um, a bit of food, I'd definitely aim towards a French style, those flavour profiles. Um, if I wasn't having food, or if I was having Thai food, so you're thinking those flavours of coriander, ginger, chilli, the really intense 
fruity flavours of the New World Sauvignons pair brilliantly with them. So that is a little introduction of what you would expect from your Sauvignon Blanc.